Hi guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Let's do a haul, shall we? Okay, most of this stuff is from Vitacost. I recently placed an order and it came super fast, so I'm kind of excited. I also have a couple of like random things that I will just get out of the way first. First, I was recently at Marshall's and I noticed that they had the big um, 25 ounce containers of the body shop body washes and my husband Craig needed a new body wash and they had the Satsuma shower gel which honestly reminds me of my youth. I loved this fragrance like back when I was in high school. I was obsessed. Um, anyway, I really, I still love it and I thought Craig might actually really like it because it's, it's super refreshing and he takes showers at night when he comes home from work or after we're done at the gym. And um, I just, I think that he's really going to like this to kind of mellow out with, but to also like just kind of energize him maybe. I don't know. I I like it. I kind of got it for selfish reasons because I want to use it sometimes. But anyway, it was like $7.99. I ripped the little thing off because these always come off in the shower and then like they get kind of like stuck in the drain, these tags here. So I was trying to get it off. But I, leave, I believe it was like $7.99. Way cheaper than when you buy it at the body shop itself. So check out Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Screaming deals apparently. Um... Let's talk a couple of things that are ordered from Paula's Choice. They were recently doing a like a certain amount off of like your order. I think when you spent like a hundred dollars, you got like fifteen dollars off. If you spent seventy five dollars, you got ten dollars off. Whenever Paula's Choice has a sale, I always grab things that I either a want to try or b want to stock up on. So this last time that they had this sale, and I don't think it's happening anymore. Um, I do always have my coupon code down below in like the discount links section. If you're a first time purchaser from Paula's Choice, check that out. Otherwise, always go through Ebates because Paula's Choice is always 5% cash back. So that's awesome. But I wanted to try the Resist Retinol Skin Smoothing Body Treatment. So this is supposed to hydrate and repair, create smoother looking skin, and build collagen for firmer skin kind of want to try this on my arms to see how it would do with my eczema. The AHA body lotion has been amazing for my eczema on my upper body. I only use that like th about three days a week. I kind of like alternate with other products, but it works really good on like keeping my skin exfoliated and keeping that scaliness away. So anyway, wanted to try this. And I had to get another one of these because, you guys, this has been the most amazing product in the world for me. It's the 10% Niacinamide Booster. I just finished my first bottle of it. You'll see it in my empties video next week. I can't live without this stuff. It is honestly, like, it's a game changer. Just like BHA 9 was for me, this is now a Holy Girl product that I will gladly pay whatever they're charging for it. Like, it... It just works that well for me. So I uh, got another one of those to have on backup. Okay, let's talk Vitacost. So I wanted to try some new things to be able to share with you guys. So I bought some mostly skincare stuff. Um, but you know, I love me some skincare. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with these just to get them out of the way. All right, so we have a little leakage here, obviously. Vitacost will normally put... Um, liquids of any kind into these um, plastic bags which is awesome because obviously sometimes things can leak when they're coming to you in the mail and um, there wasn't I, I have a feeling it came from the shower wash it doesn't look like much of it leaked out it's just kind of messy but I went ahead and grabbed the deep steep vanilla coconut coconut oil body wash which is right here so I think this is the leaking cult culprit it is taped shut, but something must have happened somewhere. But I wanted to try a body wash from Deep Steep because I really like their hand washes. And I grabbed another one of the hand washes. This is the coconut oil hand wash. And I think this is just supposed to smell like coconut. Um, we're kind of getting out of coconut season here with fall coming up. But uh, I, I love it. I just I could use coconut year round. So I went ahead and grabbed that. 
So I have both of those to try now and everything that I'm showing you guys here is cruelty free. So Deep Steep Cruelty Free Company. You can find a lot of their stuff on Vitacost and there's also a Deep Steep website where you can find their stuff. So yeah. Um, I picked up the Mountain Ocean Skin Coconut Trip Moisturizer. I have actually seen this at Fred Meyer multiple times in like their health food section, health food, natural body care section, and have picked it up, but it's kind of expensive. It's actually less expensive on Vitacost, so I snagged it there. It smells so good, you guys. Apparently, this lotion has been around since like the 70s or 80s or something. It's obviously, it's not something that you would recognize right away because it's not one of the, like the popular brands, but this has a cult following. I mean, there are people that have like used this stuff for years and this has coconut oil, aloe vera, distilled lanolin. Um, it's made in small batches to ensure quality and freshness. Anyway, I'm super excited to use this all over my body. And apparently it's made in Boulder, Colorado, and there is no animal testing, of course. So excited about that. I had to grab two of my backups. I find that I get the best prices on the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub um, on Vitacost, so I always just buy it there, but I am well aware that you can find it at Target. It's just usually like a dollar more at Target, and I'm cheap. <laughs> if I can save a buck, I'll do it. So anyway, grabbed two more of those because that stuff is just life. You've heard me talking about it forever. Wanted to try a new eye cream for you guys, so I went with the Hyaluronic and Piconogel. Oh, dude. I'm just going to link this. I'm going to link all this stuff down below for you, but this is from the Cosmeceutical Science Institute. Um, this is their eye cream. And I really wanted to try this because you know I love hyaluronic acid. And um, this really was pretty affordable. The, um, this expires in 2018. So, got to get using on this, huh? <laughs> the years are flying by. Anyway, uh, Andalou Naturals. So, the next three things are from Andalou. And wanted to try some more of their skincare products because I love the 1000 Roses facial toning spray that I've used from them. Love that stuff. So I grabbed their Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask, and this is supposed to be brightening. And this just comes in a jar. It's nice packaging. This is really small for a mask. Well, I guess it's just because it's not in a squeeze tube, and normally I guess I'm used to getting my masks in a squeeze tube. But let's see what this... Oh, it smells like pumpkin. It smells like fall. <laughs> Oh, I really like that. Anyway, um, I've heard that pumpkin enzyme is really good for your skin, so I'm looking forward to trying this, and I love that it's pumpkin. Can you guys tell that, like, I'm totally a fall girl? I'm ready for September, October, November. Like, that is my time. Next, I wanted to try their Clementine Plus C Illuminating Toner. Toner. I believe it was my friend Gussie, if you're watching, hi. He told me that this is the toner that I think he uses, I think he uses this. Correct me if I'm wrong, Gussie. But um, this is a brightening toner, toner that's supposed to be re re <laughs> revitalizing for normal and combination skin. Can I talk? Um, there's all sorts of like benefits written out on the back here. I'm not going to get into all that. I will, of course, be doing reviews of these products for you. Um, I might just do like an Andalou brand review once I try some of these things, but it is a spray toner, so you can either mist it on your face or put it on a cotton pad and apply it that way. And I kind of wanted to see what it smelled like because the 1000 Roses one smells really good. Oh, this smells citrusy. Oh, I like it. I like it. I love anything brightening, so I love that. Very last thing because I... I love me some skin polishes. <laughs> this is the Chia and Omega Radiant Skin Polish. And this box was a little bit smushed when it was delivered to me. So anyway, that's what that is. Um, this is kind of a small size. It's two ounces. The Acure is four. Uh, this was kind of expensive. 
yeah. Well, no, not crazy expensive, not like Sephora expensive, but for like what is considered maybe like a drugstore brand, this was a little bit expensive. But I'm excited to try this as well because um, I do like chia seeds and I have a feeling that this is going to be a very gentle exfoliator here. It doesn't have a strong fragrance at all. Oh, that's nice. You know what? That feels really good. It's not too scratchy at all. I, I love, I love scrubs on my face. I know some people don't believe in them, but I find my skin does really well with facial scrubs. Haven't had any adverse effects, but you need to figure out what works for your skin um, and do what works for you. If a scrub just irritates your skin too much or you have rosacea or really sensitive, delicate skin, do not use a scrub. If you have hearty, crazy, oily skin like me, might want to try it because it works at keeping blemishes off my face, I'm telling you. Okay, and that's everything. Uh, that's everything that I ordered from Vitacost. I will link all this stuff down below for you. I just want to look up the price of this scrub really quickly because for some reason I remember it being expensive. Well, it was $11.99. Yeah, it was $11.99. That's not bad. The most expensive thing I got was the Deep Steep Coconut Oil Body Wash, and that was... Twelve seventy. Not terrible. The eye cream was eleven ninety nine, and I want to say that it was actually buy one get one half off. But I didn't want to get two because I knew I wouldn't go through two. So even though I could have gotten a second one for half, I should have just gotten it and given it to my mom, right? Like I don't know why I didn't think ahead, but whatever. Anyway. You will start seeing reviews on these products coming up here soon. Um, let me know if you have any questions initially, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.